Hi guys, you're on a Pink Eyes 13 and today's video I'm going to be reading you a short story that I had written years ago. I, it was my junior year of high school. I was 16 at the time if I'm not mistaken. This was 2018. I had written this short story because my local library was holding a writing competition. Um, You could submit a poem, a short story, an essay, whatever literature piece that you had written you could submit and the prize was for you to be published in a local magazine that was going to be read throughout the whole county and the competition was for teens and I remember that I had written this years ago and I had submitted it for the competition sadly it did not win and this is completely fictional so yeah guys subscribe down below please hit that red subscribe button make it great hit that post notification bell button right next to the subscribe button so that way you're notified every time i upload so like a little text message saying ding 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 ding, ding. pink eyes 13 just post to give this video a huge thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family so that way we can make the pink eyes family grow. okay so the short story is titled please tip your waiters by bianca a lopez good morning patty good morning martin Martin's voice softens. Patty, I don't mean to seem nosy, but why are you here? Working double shifts, six days a week. Life is more than just working. You need to get out there and start a family. Patty's eyes widen and her volume increases. I do have a family. That's why I work so much. Martin's forehead wrinkles. Then why do you work so much if you have a family to tend? While shutting her eyes, Patty says, Easy. More hours, more customers, more tips, but let me explain. I came from France 12 years ago, carrying a newborn in my arms, and $5,000 at the age of 20. Patty's eyes start to sparkle. I've had the American dream since I went to the theme parks during a school trip. At the age of 14, the sparkle in her eyes fade. I left home because my parents attacked me. I almost lost my baby, Miley. I guess I needed that to happen to achieve my dream. Since I only did one year of college back in Montpellier, I must work hard for my princess. Just rent costs a grand. Patty says while rolling her eyes, I know it's not your business to know how much I make, but I only get paid two dollars with eight cents, not including tips. And I work both shifts six days a week. So I only make $678 with 72 cents monthly. I basically live on tips. If I don't work my butt off, I won't make enough tips. Some people just don't seem to understand that. A line appeared between her brows. I cry a little when I overhear clients saying, don't leave a tip, she gets paid. Why are you leaving money? Patty smiles. It warms my heart every time a client leaves a tip, especially those like you, who only come for a cup of joe but always leave me something. I thank God for blessing me, whoever made welfare, with such a helpful idea for helping families like mine out. I know I can't give Miley everything, but I give her enough. Her eyes and voice turn glossy and raspy. I never tell Miley how poor we are. She doesn't need to grow up thinking she isn't good enough. Patty sniffles. Martin, I hope I was able to respond to your question on why I work so much. Her mouth curved into a smile and started giggling. Boy, I just realized you've had your mouth wide open. Close your mouth. You look crazy. Put your eyes back to normal. You're scaring me. Your eyes look like plates. What? You never met a low-income person before? Martin shakes his head and his eyes unrounded. Wow, I'm, I'm, um, well, what can I say? I'm speechless, Patty. What would you say if I told you if you become my personal assistant? You won't have a single financial issue and you won't have to overwork yourself ever again. Patty says with a confused tone and look on her face, what? Martin starts explaining. I'm the principal at the Christian High School two blocks down. I will also get my Leah scholarship. Oh, and you won't have to worry about them tips anymore. He says with a smirk. Patty's eyes started to flood in tears of joy, but suddenly people line up and start handing Patty money when she realized that she had over $300 in her hand. With a confused tone, Patty asked, Why are you guys giving this to me? A man that seemed to be like a soccer coach replied to her and said, Talk a little lower if you don't want miracles to happen. Patty kneeled down and cried, Thank you, Lord. And in an appreciative tone, 
she said, please tip your waiters. We really appreciate it. So yeah, guys, that was my short story. So I'll see you very, very soon. My Bermuda cord, if God permits. Bye.